Zimbabwe's bold move. Can a gold-backed digital currency save its economy? Hello and welcome. I am Afumia Yaleo and this is News Analytica. Zimbabwe has been grappling with a currency crisis for the past few decades, with the value of its currency planting at an alarming rate, resulting in economic instability and hardship for its citizens. In a bid to address this issue, the government launched gold-backed digital tokens on Monday, which it claims will provide a new value-preserving instrument for Zimbabweans and boost confidence in the Zimbabwean currency. However, many economists and experts doubt that this move will have the intended impact on the economy. The International Monetary Fund has warned against the gold-backed digital currency, instead recommending that the country liberalizes its foreign exchange market. In today's news analysis, we'll take a closer look at Zimbabwe's recent launch of a gold-backed digital currency, its economic implications, and the motives behind this move. Stay with us. Even before the impact of COVID-19 and the economic crisis unleashed by the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Zimbabwe's economy was already in trouble due to decades of mismanagement, corruption, and heavy sanctions imposed by the US and EU. Sanctions were first imposed on Zimbabwe by the US and EU in 2002 over the country's controversial land reform program. Over the past 11 years, Zimbabwe is believed to have suffered revenue losses exceeding $40 billion as a result of the imposed sanctions. Moreover, the sanctions have effectively blocked the country's access to the international credit market, leading to the accumulation of outstanding external debts. But according to a press release by the US Department of State, US sanctions do not target the Zimbabwean people, the country of Zimbabwe, or Zimbabwe's banking sector. Despite the State Department's assurance, these sanctions have had a crippling effect on the economy, resulting in the most vulnerable segments of Zimbabwean society sinking deeper into poverty. By the end of last year, Zimbabwe's inflation reached an alarming 280%, making it one of the highest inflation rates in the world. The country's economy has suffered from multiple instances of hyperinflation from decades of sanctions, corruption, and economic mismanagement. In June of last year, the central bank launched gold coin to tackle this hyperinflation, but the move failed to have any significant impact. And now, with the introduction of a gold-backed digital currency, Zimbabwe hopes to stabilize its national currency. Launching gold-backed digital tokens could potentially increase confidence in the Zimbabwean currency, provide a new investment option for Zimbabweans, and attract foreign investment and capital inflows into the country. However, experts remain skeptical about the effectiveness of this new initiative. While a gold-backed digital currency could help stabilize the Zimbabwean currency in the short term, it does not address the root causes of the country's economic problems, which include corruption and the effects of sanctions, could lead to reduced transparency and accountability that could negatively impact the country's efforts to attract foreign investment. Furthermore, the IMF has expressed concerns over the use of gold-backed digital currency by the Zimbabwean government. While the government hopes it will help stabilize the currency and restore confidence in the economy, the IMF warns that it could bring about new challenges for the country. The IMF has emphasized the importance of conducting a careful assessment of the potential benefits, costs, and risks associated with the gold-backed digital currency. The risks include macroeconomic and financial stability, legal and operational risks, governance risks, and the cost of foregone foreign exchange reserves. The fund says a thorough evaluation is necessary to ensure that the benefits of this measure outweigh its costs and potential risks. It instead advises the nation to utilize traditional measures to stabilize the economy, including through a tighter monetary policy and liberalizing the foreign exchange market by removing restrictions. In conclusion, Zimbabwe's launch of a gold-backed digital currency is a bold move that could provide temporary relief for the country's currency crisis, but it does not address the underlying issues that have plagued the economy for decades. Only by tackling corruption, improving governance, implementing sound economic policies can Zimbabwe hope to achieve long-term stability and prosperity. That's all for today and thank you for watching. Make sure you join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytics.